Hello and welcome to my first uh, video on this new account that I just made. And what I'm going to demonstrate how to do today is I'm going to demonstrate a man in the middle attack. A man in the middle attack is where you just where you enter into a network. You have to be on the network. I know it doesn't sound like real hacking, but it it is. Um, then you're going to position yourself between that computer that you're hacking and the router or multiple computers. It depends on what you want to do. Then that computer will think that your computer is the firewall, and that firewall will think that you're that you are that computer, and they'll send packets through you, and you'll intercept all these packets, and you'll be able to analyze all this. You'll need three things for this. You'll need Nmap. Uh, Nmap is just an extension onto a command prompt or CMD, depend what you know. Um, Ethereal is a network packet analyzer, and Kane is a program. It's a sniffer, um, packet sniffing, uh, all this stuff. It does decrypting, all this. It does too many things that I can't explain. Um, what you, what I like to do first is I like to, uh, see what my network, what, what the network looks like. You probably won't be using this on your home network, but I am just for, to demonstrate. But you could use this on like a coffee shop or something like that. What I like to do is I like to search this, nmap, um, Slash SP oh shit nmap slash SP uh, then type in your home network uh, IP I'm using uh, wireless but it's usually uh, 192.168.1.1 but for me it's 10.0.0.1 then it's Oh shit, I typed that in wrong. What you want to do is you want to type in the exact same thing. So, then you want to type uh, another dash, but don't put a space, and then you want to type 199. What that does is it searches all the IPs from the router, which is just the one, through uh, 199. Um, then it'll search all these, and it'll come with as many things that are connected to your computer and it'll usually tell it'll tell you the host name usually um if it doesn't know that it'll tell you the uh, intel is the type of laptop that i i mean not laptop but a computer that i'm going to be hacking uh this one's my girlfriend's computer um so i know from looking at this that the intel that i'm going to be hacking is 10.0.0.4 then what I want to do is I want to uh, do the nmap thing again. nmap slash ss. Then we want to type in the IP of that. So 10.0.0.4. Um, and then that's going to tell you all the open ports, uh, possibly applications that are open, depending if you know what what ports those applications use. This will take a little bit. So I'm going to go uh, into Kane and. and uh, in Kane here, uh, crap, um, I want to remove all these, um, you want to enable the sniffer, which is right here, um, it'll search everything, uh, but first you want to configure it, and configure it to whatever, um, internet that you're using, so I'm using my wireless card, and it's this one, it's usually the one that'll give you the IP address, subnet mask, uh, it'll give a gateway, uh, it'll give all this extra stuff. Um, then you want to click OK. Uh, then you want to enable the sniffer and click the plus button and MAC address scanner will pop up. Then you click OK. And mine, I only have three feeders in it hooked up to my uh, internet right now. So I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be hacking this one. Well, I'm going to be intercepting all the packets from this one. And then you want, so I know that it's 10.0.0.4. Then I'm going to go down to this APR, and in APR, you want to click, uh, oh, one second. it'll come up with this screen right here. Uh, then you want to click this top bar up here, and click the plus. Then you want to select the router, which is the one, or zero, depending on where you, your uh, router starts. Um, then you want to click on the computer that you want to intercept the packets from, and I know it's the 10.0.0.4. Then you want to click OK. Uh, then you want to come up here to this button, 
and start it and this will change the point this is the router I mean this is the firewall this is that computer and this is my computer I position myself between those two um, then this will come down, down here if you if it knows that it's sending packets back and forth and because Kenny Able does this you can look through passwords uh, it's got all these passwords uh, that you can search, that you can look through it's got FTP passwords telnet passwords uh, it's just got everything um, but one thing it can't do is SSR passwords because SSR is encrypted so uh, it does have a decryptor for that but I'm not going to explain how to use that because it's extremely difficult well it's not extremely difficult but uh, it's harder to do and I don't really want to get into it 